First Crusade, Second Crusade, Third Crusade, One Holy City, who would ultimately prevail? The First Crusade, the call to holy war. What would drive thousands to take up the cross on the First Crusade? It all began in 1096 when Pope Urban II stood before the masses, delivering a call to arms that would forever change the world. Thousands heeded the call from all corners of Western Europe. This was the First Crusade, where crusaders such as Godfrey of Bouillon, Raymond IV of Toulouse, and Bohemond of Taranto embarked on an arduous journey toward the Holy Land, a path fraught with hardship, trials, and tribulations. It all culminated in the dramatic siege of Jerusalem, a defining moment in history, where the Crusaders ultimately prevailed, establishing Crusader states in the Holy Land. The Second Crusade, defending the faith. Yet, decades later, Jerusalem, the Holy City, faced a dire threat. The question loomed, how would Europe respond to protect their sacred land? The county of Edessa fell to Muslim forces, and the call for the Second Crusade rang out. This time, King Louis VII of France and Emperor Conrad III of Germany, along with other European nobles, led the charge aiming to defend and expand the Christian presence in the Holy Land. However, the Second Crusade was plagued by defeats and challenges, and it did not achieve its intended objectives. The Third Crusade, Kings and Legends In 1187, Jerusalem fell to Saladin, and the Third Crusade was called for. Richard the Lionheart of England, King Philip II of France, and Holy Roman Emperor Frederick, along with other European nobles, led the Third Crusade. The question hung in the air. Can these kings and legends truly alter the fate of nations? The Third Crusade was marked by battles, including the famous Battle of Arsuf and the dramatic Siege of Jaffa. Ultimately, the Crusade ended with a truce that allowed Christian pilgrims access to Jerusalem, though the city remained a point of contention for centuries.